Where does the future of technology lie? That's the topic of discussion with our next guest. Cognomem, a company whose name comes from the words cognitive memory, is in the business of selling hardware and training tools for accelerating pattern recognition and artificial intelligence applications. And here to expand on that is Cognomem's founder and CEO, Bruce McCormick. Bruce, welcome. Thank you. Bruce, start by telling us a bit more about your company. What does Cognomem do? What we do is build general purpose artificial intelligence hardware. It's different than normal computing in that it operates like the neurons in our brain, purely in parallel, and it's taught versus programmed. With traditional computing, like what's in your smartphone or personal computer, it's reached its limits in speed. You've probably noticed that no one talks about faster CPUs anymore, and when you try to put many of these processors together, it's very difficult to program them. What we build is practical and commercially available hardware that is patterned after how we process information, that is, massively parallel pattern recognition. We don't have physically separate processor and memory programmed with instructions. Rather, our memory is merged together with processing and is taught. Now, you talk about creating chips that can be taught versus being programmed. What does this mean? You teach the chips much in the same way you teach a young student how to read, speak, or recognize one object versus another. Once taught, you can replicate it for many users. For instance, if you wanted the chip to recognize my face versus yours, you present several examples of your face and mine to the device. As you show it examples, it will store these as models and automatically learn what is unique between you and I. When it's given an example it hasn't seen before, it compares it to all the patterns it learned and gives a decision. And finally, what potential applications will this technology enable? Depending on the application, you can use a little or a lot of this pattern recognition technology. So applications can range from monitoring a heart condition or control a motor to using more for doing gesture recognition locally on a handheld or get rid of that TV remote. With large arrays, you can be looking for viruses or find that scene in a video that you're searching for or find a single fingerprint in millions instantly for some crime scene investigation. There are many practical examples that can utilize this technology long before true personal robots and HAL from the movie 2001 becomes a reality. Well, it's a truly fascinating development. Bruce, thanks for joining us. And thank you, and I appreciate the opportunity. For more information on Cognomem, visit them on the web at cognomem.com. That's C-O-G-N-I-M-E-M dot com.